Hey. What are you doing here? Did you make it here for module two? What are you talking about? How'd you make it here? You must have done everything in module two. That means you also completed module one. That means you started the Beyond Sober program from a place of acceptance. That means you've been practicing your acceptance, what it is, what it isn't, how to do it, where to apply it. You've learned everything in between. You, you must have been understanding your habits, right? You understand, you've probably made a hundred new amazing habits simply by understanding what habits are. Here's what we're doing. We are in the, one of the most powerful places you could ever possibly be. If you've made it this far, I want you to understand. We're about to dive into creating habits. Actually, what healthy habits are, how to do them, how to make it happen, how to literally design the life you want to live, that you love living, from a place of habit. How do we do this? Why is it that we were so good at like ruining our existence and living in a place of just disconnect and discomfort and all those other dis words and we were so good at doing that technically we were really bad at it and then now we're in a position that we understand that everything is habitual everything is a habit so how do we start creating healthy habits right all right that's what we're going to talk about so today this specific section is developing healthy habits it's beyond just what you know, understanding habits. It's like, what is a healthy habit? We talked about this in, in, in week two, module two. So if you haven't gone back over that, if you haven't understood what a habit actually is, then this is, you know, you know it, you, you're gonna understand it. But the point is that I want you to go to module two, really put some time in, understand what habits are, get to the core of that. So when you're hearing me now, do you understand what a healthy habit actually is? With that said, are you ready? Get your water. Get your water. I'm going to jump right back. I'm going to drink water because this is how we do it. We're practicing healthy habits. Is this a healthy habit? Yeah. Yeah. Is drinking water a healthy habit? I think so. <laughs> it's not about the water. It's about the programming. Here we go. You ready? Cheers. Drink your water. Let's go. All right. With that said, let's make magic happen all right moving forward into what is a healthy habit anything that improves your quality of life drinking water is one of the healthiest things you can ever do for yourself aside from the physical importance and the medical benefits if it's not killing you in any way whatsoever so basically what that means if it's not hurting you it is helping you okay so this might be a little contradictory because I said just not drinking alcohol isn't the same as drinking water, right? So with that said, with that being very obvious, we've actually got to start developing healthy habits. So anything that is meant to improve your quality of life, and I'm gonna go into extreme detail about, you know, obviously what that really truly means. From there, we need to practice those habits, okay? So I'm gonna ask you this question, which is more important, drinking the water or practicing thinking about water? Only you know this, okay? It's the thought, it's the practice. You know that having a healthy habit, that practicing drinking water and doing the things that are necessary to improve your machine and improve your life are good. That's the point. It's the point that we're thinking about the healthy habit. Whether you do it or not, you'll get good at it over time because we're practicing, all right? I'll drink to that. All right, I actually have a backup water just in case you run out. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Practicing self-love, drinking water, going outside, writing and journaling. Anything that's giving time to yourself for the sake of creating inner peace or feeling productive. If it's not hurting you, it's helping you. So many of us thought that spending time alone and giving time to ourselves is practicing self-love. The concept alone is self-love but what are you doing with that time if you've got pens and paper get them out if you've got an ipad i've got one right here get it out we want to get the things that are in our mind out of our mind journaling writing things down conversations right when we get the things that are in our mind out i want you to think about this think of it like a bunch of bees Bzzz, they're in your mind these are all these intrusive thoughts, all these things you didn't ask to think about, all these ideas that you've been having. And if you've been drinking or punishing yourself with alcohol or under the influence of anything, 
then what's been happening is you've just been ignoring what's actually happening. You, you don't even want to process that information because it feels like so much. We do it one time, we get good at processing the information, we're going to want to have more of those thoughts because we're going to get good at processing them from a place of self-love because instead of torturing ourselves, instead of letting that thought beat us up and rerunning it and doing all those things, we're getting it out of our mind, we're breaking it down to its core elements, what I like about this thought, what I don't like about this thought, what's a good idea, what's a bad idea. I want you to remember this, there's no such thing as good and bad or right and wrong. There's only your perspective. So some, a lot of people, they tell me, I don't take business advice from a guy in sideways hats. Cool. Don't listen to the life-changing material. Don't pay attention to what I'm saying. Because the reality is, is that that concept alone is keeping you closed off. If you're not going to listen to advice because you're placing a judgment, that means you're actually punishing yourself. <laughs> you're literally practicing not taking in new information. You're hurting yourself. Even though you might be protecting your mind, I really want to listen to the guy in the suit. That's actually causing harm to yourself because you're not open to new perspectives. You, on the other hand, you're good. You're here. You're open. You're all about it. You're ready. You're moving. You're making magic, making moves, making memories. You're doing all the, all the right things, right? So I'm going to wear two hats just for you. <laughs> So also, that place of inner peace. I tell you this, how do I know about inner peace? I talk about this all the time. If you follow me on TikTok, if you've been to any of my lives, you know that I know what it's like to start dying. How did I end up dying? It's because I punished myself and didn't allow the information that I'm giving you right now to seep in. I didn't practice, I didn't focus, I didn't study, I didn't care. And because I didn't care about my growth, I became complacent where I was at, thinking I knew everything, arrogant and ignorant, and, and, and I just didn't even want to put in the work because I'm like, I'm good, I know everything I need to know. To this point, everything that you know has led you to this moment. Are you happy with this moment? You should be, you're stoked now, but the reason you're in this moment is because of all the other prior moments. <laughs> So you're in a place of growth and expansion. When you know you're in the right place, like where you are right now, that brings peace, that brings comfort. We talked about that last week. That brings stability, flexibility, dynamics, expansion, openness, right? Now that we start to feel safe, feel comfortable, our life is becoming more simplistic because we're practicing simplicity. That's what happiness is. Happiness is, Mantis mindset is happiness simplified, right? Now that we're practicing that stuff, we can actually create peace for ourselves and the more peaceful we feel which means no anxiety no stress no drama no crap none of those things are around us they're not messing with our natural flow from there we can really do what we want we can really 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 practice self-love but we've got to look into what self-love means for you I can tell you to go running but if you got weak lungs it's not gonna work I'm gonna tell you to stop being born person but if you've got an IEP then that's not gonna help you so you only you can determine what's actually going to help you move forward. Speaking of moving forward, let's talk about it. Physical and mental fitness, right? Going to the gym, running, physical exercise, brain games, cognitive reserve, reading, watching documentaries, construction, balancing, anything that can help you become more talented. Anything you practice, you become talented in. Talent is actually made from love. If you want to look it up, I'll put the, the links down here. There's a place, a thing called malin. Malin is the actual substance that is wrapped around the neurological pathways that, like basketball players and baseball players and skateboarders and balancers and trapeze artists, they practice, 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 practice. Why do you think I could say things the way that I say them? Do you think I just woke up and was able to say them? Why do you think I'm so expressive and can honestly just thoroughly throw myself out there without question easily it's why is it so easy for me to be me it's because I've practiced being me I've practiced understanding me I've practiced breaking myself down now nah, most people go like that's bad no I didn't, I didn't say insulting myself I said breaking myself down why do I like this why don't I like this why do they like it and I don't it doesn't sit right why don't I like authority I don't like this I've asked myself why so many times I've gotten to the source, I've gotten to the core of who I am, right? 
So anything that's actually going to challenge you, we talk about cognitive reserve, the recalling of information. The more you challenge your mind right now, the more you're going to be able to recall memories later. So think about this. Most people who have been punishing themselves with alcohol or substances or bad habits and things of that nature, they're bored. They feel bored. They're not challenging themselves. There's nothing to overcome. And what they do choose to overcome is a problem that they created through what they use to punish themselves with. You, you, you have so much to do, you do nothing. You're practicing not moving. Not moving isn't getting your results, so you're upset with that. So you punish yourself with alcohol. All of these things just directly contribute to that. Or you make things super duper duper difficult for yourself so you can have that feeling of accomplishment later. You don't have to make things difficult to feel like you're making magic happen, to feel alive. Physical fitness, all that stuff, I cannot stress to you enough. You're stuck with your body. You are stuck with it. You need your body. Your body doesn't need you. Give it what it needs, the basic necessities of life. Drink water. Let's do it. On my deathbed, my body was still taking care of me. It didn't have to. It could have given up at any moment. And it, it, I don't even know if it tried. I, I was like begging my body to hang on. The more I'm in the gym, the more I'm outside, the more I'm expressing myself. My shoulder, as I say this, it hurts from what I did yesterday. This is a good sore. That's the, that's the repercussion of progress. That's the feeling of success. I know what I did yesterday. I know what my machine and I performed yesterday. Talent. You're practicing doing something. You're practicing saying words. You're practicing thinking about your future. You're practicing getting up when you don't want to. You're practicing. Life is doing. Life isn't just being. You're not a human being. You're a human doing. That's what you're here. Do you think you're just sitting around? No, you're absorbing. You're practicing taking in new abstract concepts that are very real to you, that are helping you shift into the better version of yourself. That's what happens when you practice. You practice showing up for you, you practice listening to me, you practice all this expression, and you know what happens? You get results. You don't just get them overnight, you get them through practice. Practicing healthy habits, right? Super powerful once you understand that, right? Caring for others without sacrificing yourself. Listening to other people and practicing being there for them without getting involved with their drama. Practice being the shoulder and not the savior. This is why I will not help you. That might have hurt your heart a little bit. I'm not here to help you. I'm here to support you. You're helping yourself. You are taking care of you. I'm here to support you. I know this. If I help you, it's just a band-aid. I'm just put, I'm just fixing the problem. Look, it's not a spill anymore, right? But it's still full of a problem. That is all problem right there. So if you keep opening the cap, we still have a problem. This is why you don't put the Band-Aid on it. You help the wound heal. So you can be there for somebody. First off, you're practicing commiseration, commiseration and empathy. You are putting yourself on the back burner. Doesn't mean you're taking less priority. You are supporting someone where they're struggling. When you support people where they're struggling, you're learning about yourself. You're learning about how you can even provide support. So many of us have helped this guy, helped this girl, helped my mom, helped my dad, helped my sister, helped my friend, helped all these people. When you get nothing in return, you feel like you've sacrificed everything. And you have. So if you've ever felt like that, rightfully so. This is because we haven't practiced the healthy habit of applying boundaries. Healthy boundaries. You've been sacrificing your time. The one thing you're never going to get back. Remember this. The same time that you're spending with me right now is the same time you're not going to get back when you give it to someone else that isn't supporting you where you're at. If people are coming at you going, help me, save me, do this, you can't, you can, but you're not going to get anything out of that. But then that brings up the question, don't you just help the person? No. You have zero obligation to be there for somebody. There is no requirement. Good, bad, and different family, friend, whatever. There's no obligation. There's no soul contract associated with your success and happiness. 
that's if it's not going to make you happy if you're not in a place to support someone without sacrificing yourself then you're practicing disconnecting that's not self-love that's sacrifice now certain instances you are the answer certain instances yeah help that person I'm not saying if there's someone bleeding over there don't help them out do be a decent human being right that, that makes absolute sense that's what good people do that's what healthy people do they, they support other people you need my help I got you cool but only from the place of how you help yourself so if you're not even helping yourself in the way that they're asking for support then don't give it because you're sacrificing what little strength you do have on someone else that's not even supporting you they're gonna ask for more they're gonna take more and they're gonna run with that what's more important is that you go wish I could can't so I'm not going to wish I could I don't I don't need to explain myself I'm not going to you don't owe anyone an explanation for taking care of you they could ask all the questions you want I don't know you an explanation I don't have to say I don't even have to tell you that I don't need to explain anything I'm taking care of me nah bro not gonna happen sorry sister nope wish I could but I can't you don't have to say that the point is is that when you're practicing self-love when you're looking at these habits saying no is one of those habits saying no caring for people from a place of comfort and safety and compassion and empathy and understanding also when you're there for people you don't have to feel their emotions you don't have to give them an emotional response we can literally hang out and you can cry on my shoulder all day long and I'll sit here play video games and do my thing I'm not going to sacrifice my world because you've let yours crumble and I'm also not gonna beat you up because your world is crumbling as a decent human being I'm gonna support you and help you through the emotion but I'm not going to sacrifice my emotions my worlds because you are having trouble handling your own we can grow together through this experience this is why caring for others is a very important thing healthy boundaries is an incredibly important thing some people don't even practice this stuff so they drink more alcohol punish themselves with a substance so they can not care and just be the shoulder for somebody else that's unhealthy behavior that's one of those things that will continue helping you go deeper down the rabbit hole whatever that rabbit hole is right moving forward sharing your emotions and engaging in healthy conversations healthy conversations with yourself and people <laughs> uh, from a place of love and respect think out loud uh, study your feelings and improve your processing we are having a healthy conversation right now you think this is the first time I've ever said this out loud no this is the first time I've created this program for you I'm saying all these things because I've said them a thousand times before I've practiced processing my thoughts I sit there and engage in healthy conversations here's here's the trick if you are the smartest person in the room you're in the wrong room this is I say this because I work with thousands of people I've helped thousands of entrepreneurs I am constantly looking for someone better than me so I can continue growing better in my own sense of the word meaning they've got something to teach if you and I were in the same room having this same conversation I'd be growing from everything you're saying I'm learning I'm curious I want to know the more I want to know the more I feel like I'm moving forward so sharing a healthy conversation so uh, here's another example of a healthy conversation it might not seem like it but sometimes we're involved in it someone's talking a whole bunch of crap they're pointing out all the things that they don't like and you're sitting here not having an emotional reaction yeah <laughs> the conversation itself may not be healthy but you may be in a healthy position by not reacting not responding not engaging that's an advanced type of healthy conversation willingly putting yourself in the middle of a conversation you would normally be uncomfortable with so you could practice not responding not giving your emotions not reacting just literally sitting here going say whatever you want I'm not gonna give you my emotions I'm here to listen in your own head you're saying this I'm here to listen cool say what you want I expect you to talk a whole bunch of crap that's what you're good at <laughs> and then you're just going hey man all that self-love all those things that I did all the stuff that I've been practicing I don't have to say anything and I like that I don't have to say anything I like that I don't want to say anything I don't want to contribute to that negativity that you bring into the table because I'm better than that you're better than that you know this you know you don't like it 
you know it's not even your fault why you're interested. <laughs> Most of the time, we're interested because that's all the information we've been getting. It's all been negative. The news, the social media, everything. Everybody, we got haters in the comments. We've got all these people trying to point out what they think is better for us. You don't even know me. What are you talking about? People tell me to take my hats off all the time. People tell me to say this and do this. Like, who are you? I don't give you my emotions. You're silly. <laughs> but that's from a place of comfort. I understand me. I practice being me for so long that I know where I'd like to apply my emotions, where I don't want to, what deserves them, what doesn't. That's, these are healthy habits to have, is to knowing when and where to apply your emotions and when and where to engage in conversation. So a conversation like you and I are having right now, very healthy. I encourage you to take what we're saying here and say it to somebody else. This is what I learned in Beyond Sober. Check this out. I was here, I was talking to Cody, and Cody said this thing, and it makes so much sense, and I realized that I didn't practice that. That's, once again, going back to getting it out of your mind. That's part of that self-love is, is speaking about what you've learned. Think about this. When you take what you've learned and you spit it out, you say it, you're mastering what you've learned because you're not letting it sit and you're processing it on your own. Every time I say a word to you that's associated with anything that I'm reading or saying or talking about or believe in, I'm mastering it. Why do you think I'm so good at delivering it? It's because I continue to talk about it. Like every time I'm helping someone understand something, I'm becoming better at communication. I'm becoming better at guiding a conversation in a healthy way. I'm getting better at delivering a message. Some of you might be introverted. You might be an introvert. That's okay. That's why we have other ways of getting it out of our mind. Talking to yourself is one thing. But what you're saying to yourself is what the real concern is. That's why we work together. With that said, I'm going to move forward on to uh, the next video for you. All right. Now... We understand what healthy habits basically look like, right? What's good, what's bad. I encourage you to go back and take notes of the things. If you go back and listen to that last video and take notes of things that you would consider a healthy habit for you, only you are going to know what a healthy habit is given your circumstances. But the point is, is that we practice these habits, right? Keep in mind, anything we practice becomes a habit, remember? Drink water. <laughs> That's what we're going to do right now, right? You ready? Cheers. Let's go. Get your reminders if you need them. <laughs> okay? Moving forward. Let's talk about this. 